What is going on guys, Sinister here back with another video and we are taking a look at the rosters for the NFC West on Madden 18. Carson Palmer got the 83 overall for the Cardinals, we're start, or starting with the Cardinals obviously if you couldn't tell, uh, Blaine Gabbert with a 72, David Johnson with an 84 overall coming in big there, no fullbacks to the team, Larry still got the 90 overall, John Brown and Jaron Brown of course on the team as well. Offensive line. Looking okay, looking decent, not the best. Defensive line needs some work, though, big time. Carlos Dansby, I forgot he got traded there. Er, no, we did not trade him. Scooby Wright's there, though. We did draft him. I'm kind of sad that he ended up leaving, but can't keep everybody on the team. We as in Cleveland, obviously, if you did not know I was a fan. Patrick Peterson... I thought they listed, I always considered Tyron Matthew a safety, but I thought they listed him as a cornerback, I don't know. Diamond and Branch, Phil Dawson, still got the 80 overall, 18 years into this league, and he's still got an 80 overall. Love me some Phil Dawson. I guess we'll do the, probably 49ers next, yes. 49ers, you got Brian Hoyer, Matt Barkley, and CJ Beathard, I guess Brian Hoyer's the quarterback. Carlos Hyde and Tim Hightower. Kyle Juszczyk, that's where he went. Pierre Garçon is now the starting receiver for the 49ers. Wait, who is that? Okay, I was like, Allen Robinson, no way. Um, <laughs> that's not correct. This offensive line, I'm, I was going to say, I'm pretty sure is some ass cheeks for San Francisco. DeForest Buckner, though, Buckner, though is going to be, a, should be a four, six, was he like six? Yeah, six, seven, 300. He's huge. Elvis Dumerville, again. These middle linebackers aren't as intimidating as they used to be, though. Mal I mean, Malcolm Smith is there. Navarro Bowman's still there. Still a beast. Um, Reuben Foster should be a beast. Ahmad Brooks is just kind of taking a step back with age. Uh, who did they lose? Uh, who was the other middle linebacker? I cannot think of his name right now. Uh, I know someone will. Kwan Williams is an underrated slot corner. Big time. Eric Reed. Robbie Gould and Bradley something. I didn't catch it. Uh, but does it really matter? Because he's a punter for the 49ers. Next up, who do we got? We got Seahawks left and the Cup. No. Who else is in that division? We'll probably see it. Rams. There we go. Jeff, Jeff Goff. Jared Goff with a 73 overall. Todd Gurley with an 85 coming in big time in a second year, right? Or third. Third year? I don't know. Tavon Austin with an 81 overall. Hopefully they use him. This guy can be something huge, and they just do not use him at all. Like, just they use him, but just not correctly. Like he can be used in so many different ways. Uh, yes, that was the other Bengals uh, offense lineman was uh, Andrew Whitworth who left. So yeah, the Bengals offense line needed to work there. He went to the Rams, and the rest of the offense line doesn't look like it's anything. So there's that. Aaron Donald, their defensive line though is going to be something fierce because it is something fierce. Alec Ogletree, Robert Quinn, Tremaine Johnson. They got some pretty big names on the defensive side, but I don't expect them to uh, be anything too crazy. I think they're more paper names. It's like the Jaguars effect more than anything. And lastly, but not least, we have the Seahawks. Russell Wilson with a 90 overall. Thomas Rawls with an 83 and Eddie Lacy with an 82. Going to be interesting to see that uh, competition heat up. Mm, sorry if you heard my phone there. Doug Bald with an 89. Jermaine Curtis with an 80. And Tyler Lockett with an 80. So Tyler Lockett gets a big jump there. Um, Jimmy Graham with a 93. This offensive line is... I already know. Yeah. They got Luke Jokiel this offseason to try and help, but it's so bad. Poor Russell Wilson, man. The things he can do with that offensive line is interesting. Michael Bennett, phenomenal player. Cliff Averill, Tibba Rubin. I mean, this defensive scheme is just great. I mean, it's the Seahawks defense. Bobby Wagner, KJ Wright, Richard Sherman, uh, Jeremy Lane. Pierre Desir went to... Oh. I, man, I'm really sad about that. I, I forgot about him. He came into the league with Cleveland a couple years ago uh, from 
I forget his backstory, but it, it was a pretty good backstory, and I was really hyped for him, but he, he just hasn't kind of played much, so he hasn't really gotten a chance. Earl Thomas and Cam Chancellor, so Legion of Boom falling apart, but still kind of there. Uh, kind of. Not really. It's falling apart. <laughs> Blair Walsh and John Ryan. That is going to wrap it up, guys. If you enjoyed it, be sure to drop a like and hit subscribe if you already haven't. And until next time, I'll see you again soon.